Welcome back. Goblin Chefs is AP Games. Obviously, I was going to make this, record this video last night and upload it at our normal 9 a.m. Pacific uh, update time. Um, but I wanted to sit on it a little bit, so I guess I'm just going to record it this morning instead of last night. Uh, everyone's kind of up in arms right now about the so-called nerfs to Eladin and Elrond. And I'm, I'm on your side, guys. I get it. Um, I've been firsthand dealing with CG communication blunders for years and years now so it's nothing that i'm not accustomed to i totally understand it um one thing i will say is it was is pretty quickly acted on and you know it's hard to get a dev post out quickly but i mean the, the community manager was pretty active in the uh discord as well trying to update people so am i upset that there's this nerf because no it's not an it's not a nerf right like no one no one did anything. No one was like dropping like a year's worth of resources into the game or spending a fuck ton of money being like, oh man, my my Eladin's going to do 280% damage as opposed to 240% or whatever the actual change was. Or, or Elrond's going to, or he's going to have a 70% chance to get nimble instead of a 100% chance to get nimble. Like in the, in the few hours that there was this confusion up in the air, um, nothing was affected so at the end of the day it's like it's like whatever like he's slightly worse than we thought but if you're a free-to-play player you're probably pretty happy right now because it just means it's going to be slightly easier uh when we talk about how you're going to counter uh the elven team it's just going to be slightly easier for you because they're going to have slightly less buffs um it's pretty apparent that this team is going to kind of get knocked down uh with debuffs and stuff like that i think they're going to be able to be controlled relatively well uh, which which makes sense with the direction that the meta uh, is going to go in the future. Um, so realistically, like, is it the end of the world? No, like, it's still going to be able to beat anything. I don't think any of the actual changes. Let me pull up the the side by side real quick of like what was talked about and what's in the game now, or what's theoretically coming to the game Thursday for Eladin. We're going to definitely um, stream the second the Eldin event goes live as well as the Elrond event. So make sure that you're here. Let me pull these up real quick. Um, the one thing that I was concerned about and I did reach out instantaneously for was as far as Eldin is concerned, it did previously say that you needed Elrond to unlock Eldin and essentially uh, indicating that you were going to need um, Leliel and absolutely no one has farmed Leliel because you're going to go for these four and then get Eladin, and that's going to be the five best elves to get him, uh, to get Elrond. So, um, his AoE actually hasn't really changed that much. Um, his passive, I don't even think, has changed that much. Uh, they didn't really act, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, they didn't actually really do much of anything. They dropped down like max health recovery for the revive to seventy percent. They they dropped a stack of protection. Um, Eladin's basic does like one less weaken, uh, and his AOE does slightly less. Let me actually pull up his updated uh, his updated kit real quick. Um, pull up Eladin. Is it not? Is Eladin not on the... Or apparently they're being lame and they don't want to give me the Eladin kit, so I'm going to pull it up manually. But, um, yeah, so one stack a week and, and slightly less damage. Um, two random allies for his max upgrade uh, regeneration and deadly, which is not, not really the end of the world. Um, and he's doing like 60... Not 60% less damage, because that would mean he's only doing 40% of the damage he was originally doing, but he's doing like 220 instead of 300% damage, right, um, on his AoE, uh, which is not, ex and, and one less stack of Provoke. So, is this like a massive nerf? And I'm sorry that you can't see what I'm looking at right now. Is this a massive nerf? Absolutely not. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think there isn't really going to be much that changes about how this team functions and their viability. Like, the stuff that's going to counter them is was already going to counter them. Does this make it slightly easier? Maybe. Does this make it slightly more advantageous for free-to-play players who have to kind of deal with all of this nonsense? Yeah, probably. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I mean, if you take them to seven stars, like a lot of the Krakens and Whales will, we'll take them to five stars. We'll do a minimum gear unlock so that we can actually show how the 
um, event itself works and how you can kind of min-max your way to get it free to play once it's around in another three or six months. Um, it's not exactly going to be that life-changing, especially if you're going against like a full seven-star one. Like you're instead of losing in two minutes, you lose in uh, two minutes and five seconds. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's not exactly the end of the world. Um, the only thing, uh, the only thing that I will say is, um, I think we definitely had much better communication on this than we would have had if the same problem happened in Galaxy of Heroes. I'm sure you all will attest to the fact that if this happened in Galaxy of Heroes, it would have been a, it would have been a a long drawn out trot to try and figure out what the uh, what the real deal is, uh, and that would have been a huge pain in the ass. So I'll give them I'll give them credit where credit's due. Um, I'm really curious for those of you guys who are like actually super serious about this being like a really big deal. Um, let me know in the comment section why. I'm very I'm very curious as to like why like a specific change like this, which I mean it was never going to be that way, so I guess it was just in writing only. Uh, why that specifically was uh, was kind of upsetting for you because I've been trying to figure that out over the last uh, well I guess last night and this morning um, because it's just it just feels strange you know what I mean all right uh, do we want bonus content bonus content from AP gains um, I am really, really, really hoping Elrond comes around. I mean, I know when he's coming around, it will be streaming when he's coming around, but I want to get it over with because I just want to dump so many of my resources into my um, Haradrim, but I can't because I want to do the same thing for the, for the Witch King event. I want to do a min gear unlock, which means I want to leave them at low gear and stuff like that so I can work through the event and figure out what gear levels need to be done. <laughs> And it's so stressful because, like, I need to upgrade them in order to get to the Robel node. Um, where the fuck is this guy? In order, or this girl? Yeah, girl. Um, but I can't get there without upgrading my Haradrim, so I'm just, like, stuck in this, like, perpetual loop of sadness where uh, I can't get them, but I also want to get them. And it's it's really, you know what, should I just say fuck it? Should I just build... Oh God, see, I don't want to use my resources on non-Haradrim characters. Should I just build up, like, a super Wubete Bambalam, Whoa, Wubete Bambalam, and have him and Ironhide just, like, fucking two-man all the way to the Robel node? That's your bonus. Uh, only 4% of people make it past 8 minutes. So if you're part of the 4%, I need you to answer the bonus question. Bonus question is, should I just go absolutely hog-wild on my Haradrim in order to get to Shadow 4-1? Because right now in Shadow Campaign, I just don't really do much of anything. Like, I can barely get through Chapter 4 normal. Um, I doubt that I'm going to get through... Um, I doubt that I'm going to get through to 4-1 hard without, like, seriously investing in uh, in some characters. And I'm, it's not like I don't have good characters. I have Shagrat and I have Bulk. Like, they're usable. Um, but I imagine, like, a Yef 2 and a Wubete Bambalam to, like, Gear 7. I could like power through there and oh god I'm just so excited for that. I don't know. All right, I'm going to um, I'll let you go. Bye.